Hello, I'm Siddharth and today I'm going to talk about the Motorola S20 Pro, which is an affordable phone in the premium mid-range segment. It has a high quality build with metal and glass design, which is topped with a large flat display. But that does not let down the fact that this phone packs a punch as it is powered by the Snapdragon 870 chip. It takes on the likes of the OnePlus 9R, Mi 11X Pro, IQ7 Legend and more such phones under Rs 40,000. I tested the Motorola S20 Pro to benchmark its gaming and performance in day-to-day -day life. So if you are someone who is looking to buy a phone under Rs 40,000, here's how the S20 Pro fares against the competition. The Motorola S20 Pro gives tough competition to the OnePlus 9R, even though both phones are powered by the same chipset. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 chipset has an octa-core CPU with a 3.2 GHz prime core, 3 performance cores and 4 power efficient cores. This is paired with the Adreno 650 GPU, 8 GB RAM with 128 GB storage. There are not a lot of stock Android options available in this price range, which is where the S20 Pro comes in as it runs on stock Android 11 and a largely untouched UI. The animations are smooth and look even better when the default refresh rate is set to 144Hz as it makes the whole experience much more fluid. This is a fairly large phone with an equally large display which is what makes it a compelling option for people who watch a lot of movies and videos on their phones or those who play games on their phones regularly. The display has a 576Hz touch latency rate which means it can register touch inputs at very fast speeds and anybody who plays games will endorse the importance of a fast touch response rate. The general performance of the S20 Pro remains snappy, navigation across the interface is very smooth and app load times are instant which is great for regular use. When it comes to synthetic benchmarks, the Motorola S20 Pro got high scores on Antutu where it crushed the OnePlus 9R and in Geekbench where it got respectable scores in single core and multi core tests. The S20 Pro got over 14,000 points in PC Mark work test which grades the performance of a phone by running browsing video editing, photo editing and many more workloads. This proves that the H20 Pro is fairly competent in handling these tasks. Incidentally, these scores are higher than both the OnePlus 9R and the Mi 11X Pro, which suggests that this phone is better optimized for daily tasks. I also ran a CPU throttling test which checks whether the CPU throttles under extreme workloads or not. The S20 Pro throttled to 78% of the maximum threshold, which means that the phone lowered down its performance to keep the thermals in check. The phone got warm to the touch after a couple of rounds of gaming and benchmark tests, which considering its slim profile, isn't too bad to spoil your experience. In 3D Mark and GFX Bench tests, the Moto S20 Pro got respectable scores, which is only a foretaste of its GPU capabilities. I played multiple games on the phones with high quality graphics and frame rates, and this phone was able to deliver a solid performance. Gamebench metrics was used to analyze the gaming performance of the H20 Pro. As per the data points recorded by Gamebench, the H20 Pro delivers 60 FPS in Call of Duty Mobile with 90% stability, which is pretty good. In BGMI, Gamebench recorded 40 FPS at a consistent 100% stability. Both games were running at the highest graphic quality along with the high frame rates. While these numbers are not indicative of the real-world performance, the S20 Pro should be commended for the power it packs in a slim and light profile. My gaming experience on the S20 Pro was amazing combined with a great display and a large screen estate. Though I was left wanting more in the audio department where we just get a bottom firing speaker unit. The phone is equipped with a 4500 mAh battery that supports 30 watt fast charging. In my use, the phone lasted for a full day on a single charge and under heavy workloads with screen set to 144 Hz refresh rate. In general use, you will be able to get more from the battery with mixed workloads. It also supports 30 watt fast charging and manages to fully charge the phone in an hour and 18 minutes. The Motorola H20 Pro offers great performance at its asking price and brings the goodness of stock Android with it. Add to the fact that it is so slim and still packs a punch is a proof of Motorola's capability in giving us affordable flagships. The S20 Pro is a great and much more powerful alternative to the OnePlus 9R and delivers a solid gaming performance. If you are looking for a phone and do not play games often, you will be surprised at the sustained performance of the S20 Pro over time. 
and if you play games like Call of Duty Mobile and BGMI, you're sure to enjoy the holistic experience that this phone offers. For its asking price, the S20 Pro is a good deal, which isn't to say you cannot get a better deal. If you want to spend some more and move towards Rs 40,000, there's the Mi 11X Pro, the iQ7 Legend, which are both more powerful gaming phones. However, if your budget is around 35,000, you should definitely keep the S20 Pro on top of your list. So that was our gaming and performance review of the Motorola S20 Pro. Do let us know in the comments below what more would you like to know about it and we'll try and answer all your queries. Also subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we put out a new video. Thanks for watching.